All preliminary information collected thus far indicates that this was indeed a human smuggling event. Now we're starting with some breaking news that came in about a half an hour ago. U.S. Border Patrol, you saw the chief right there, releasing a video statement on that deadly crash that killed seven people in downtown El Paso. I'm Daniel Muddy. And I'm Natasha Paloma. You heard the chief say it appears this was tied to a human smuggling attempt. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields live in the newsroom with a breakdown of the details. Well, according to investigators, the victims in the crash were from El Paso, Juarez, and Guatemala. Customs and Border Protection says the car was first spotted in an area known for human smuggling. The crash happened around 2.30 a.m. Thursday along Baisano Drive. A Chevy Cruze, typically a car seated for five, carried ten people when it slammed into a parked semi-trailer. Police say the vehicle had been briefly pursued by Border Patrol after agents spotted in near Paisano and McNutt in the Sunland Park area. They say the car, traveling at a high speed, failed to yield to Border Patrol before crashing. U.S. Customs and Border Patrol releasing a statement Friday saying, quote, This area is known by agents to be used frequently by transnational criminal organizations for human smuggling. Police say the agents called off their pursuit before the crash. Investigators did not release any of the victims' names, but KTSM spoke with the mother of one of those killed. She identified her son as 19-year-old Jorge Acosta. I don't know what he was doing in that car. Why was he doing whatever they said he was doing? I do not know. As I just mentioned to you, he's an adult, and you know, there's things that he doesn't tell us no more. What I know is that what the police station told me was that he was in the back. He wasn't driving. Police say among the dead, an 18-year-old male from El Paso who was the driver, two females from El Paso, a male from El Paso, a male from Mexico, and a male and female with no other information. As for those other three passengers, investigators say those injured include a 25-year-old man from Guatemala and two teenagers from Juarez. And just about 30 minutes ago, we heard from the El Paso Chief Patrol Agent Gloria Chavez, who described the moments before the deadly wreck. Due to the high rate of speed of the suspect vehicle and the road conditions, Border Patrol agents complied with the order, turned off emergency lights and sirens, and then lost view of the vehicle. Agents later came upon the vehicle, which had crashed into a parked trailer. KTSM has requested the crash report to try and figure out the relationships between the people in the vehicle. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. What I said from the